So this is mail day slash uh, pack opening day take two. Uh, the previous one I paused, stopped in the middle. I didn't pause, I stopped. And that erased all of the glorious content that I had already recorded. Um, so you're not going to hear a lot of good things. But here, you'll hear lots of great things actually. Um, here is my first thing. Came into PWE uh, with blue painter's tape there. And that was it. Um, it's Cody Hoist, uh, first round draft pick of the Los Angeles Dodgers of Los Angeles. Uh, it's silver prism prism i guess um, why do we call the nfl draft silvers though um top of this class insert cody hoist i don't think he's going to be any good but um a friend of mine went to Tulane and it cost like 79 cents so what can you do this is from a good friend on twitter jose um jose i believe with four e's underscore g is his uh twitter handle so be nice to him and you might get a fat stack this was packed better before um had bubble wrap around it, good tape and everything, and I was just talking about how it's amazing that Jose and I get along, because he is a Cowboys and Astros fan, and I am an Eagles fan, and I have poor cheaters. No, I kid. I kid. I'm also an Orioles Nationals fan, so it was good the Nationals won. I don't know how, how we'd approach things if they didn't, uh, but, you know, I really think that a number of teams, whoa, um, cheated. I can't imagine that the Astros, and we've seen, right? Yankees, I believe, got called out. The Red Sox, I think the Astros were the, perhaps the biggest, but they, maybe they were just most successful. Kind of why everyone hates Barry Bonds the most and Mark McGuire. There are innumerable other people doing steroids at the time, but people fixate on some of those folks. Um, they don't seem to fixate on someone like Andy Pettit um, for that reason. Andy Pettit didn't break any records, didn't stop people from winning a championship, although maybe he did. Although he also played for the Astros too. Hmm, interesting. Um, either way, um, Jose, and I, Jose and I trade back and forth a lot, which is great because I used to throw my Cowboys cards away. Now I send them to him and he sends me good cards. Um, like this sweet one. I've not seen this before. I haven't opened a lot of Series 2. I don't think I've opened any on my own and then just a few with friends. Um, a friend. Uh, Jim Palmer, Decades Best, 70s. Um, wow. He won three Cy Young's awards, 20 games, seven times. Ooh, he knows I am a huge Jalen Hurts fan. Love Jalen Hurts. Love them in Oklahoma. This is a rookie card. I like it. It's going in my fat stack of Jalen Hurts. John Howtower. I don't know who he is, um, but anything Boise and blue is makes me happy. Alshon! I love Alshon Jeffrey. Um, he's probably the first receiver, the second receiver I've really loved that the Eagles have ever had. Um, I liked Terrell Owens. He was good. Uh, didn't really end well. Um, Todd Pinkston was not great. Uh, James Thrash, not great. Um, who else? I mean, Deshaun Jackson is probably my favorite. Uh, hopefully he's not as anti-Semitic as some of those content suggested. Um, but yeah, Alshon's kind of been my favorite. I liked Aguilar, but that's kind of a love-hate thing. Um, but Alshon, man, can't, can't go wrong with Alshon. That is a pretty sweet Panini Carson Wentz. Waiting for his MVP season. I'm thinking the next three years, he's going to have one year that's just amazing. And it'll be like, oh, he's as good as Mahomes. And he'll be good as Mahomes for that year, but not over the long term. I'd rather have Mahomes, but still. Jordan Matthews, love-hate with him as well. Can't really catch anything, um, but he's fun. Hey, another Carson Wentz. Hey, another Jordan Matthews. Carson Wentz just be thankful that he hopefully won't have to pass to him that much. This is, I guess, a silver or a refractor. It looks really nice. This is cool because he's really organically growing. Jose is organically growing my um, Carson Wentz collection because I don't really buy Carson Wentz. I don't know why, um, but here's another Carson Wentz. Yeah, I don't know. Like Carson Wentz, he's just like such a boring guy. He's like good. He's not flashy. Um, yeah, I like him. I don't have any problem with him. Um, that is an Alshon Jeffrey. That's sweet. We got a Chris Carter. Pretty, pretty. I mean, the Eagles back then ran some really good players out of town. Randall Cunningham, Carson, Chris Carter. I mean, Carter kind of had his own problems, I believe, with um, maybe it was alcohol or something. I forget exactly what. Um, but um, this is really cool. What is? What do we go with first? Let's go with this order. This is awesome, Jose. Um, this is a gold zone. Carson Wentz out of fifty. Where's 50? It's out of 50, right? Yep, 50, right there. Right there. Look at it, it's a pretty card, really nice. I think you, I forget, is Dillard? I think Andre Dillard is the lineman right there. I was hoping for Jason Peters, and I'm guessing that's Jason Kelsey though, right there. My wife's name is Kelsey, and she has a Jason Kelsey jersey, and that makes me about the happiest of anything in the world. 
Um, we have an Alshon, silver. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful card. Beautiful. I love that. I like prisms. We got a sweet Jalen Hurts 2020 draft class. Uh, Philadelphia Eagle, exceptional player. Going to be a Hall of Famer, I believe. And probably the best quarterback in the history of modern and even postmodern and even pre-modern NFL football, as they call it. Um, the soccer of the West. And then we got something that I'm just stoked about. A Dallas Guard auto. One of these years, I keep saying that, but he's also on trajectory to have such a great career. It's a blue Boss Hawks. Love it. Nice. I don't understand what that is, but that is awesome. I'm going to... Jose, man, you outdid yourself. This was so nice of you. Um, I don't know if I showed the sticker, but also a sticker. Baltimore Orioles. I'm not sure what I'm going to stick that to, but I'm going to stick it to something. Maybe my phone. I don't know. But let's do a quick couple of... A couple of good... Yeah, I'll try to... Um... I think that weird talk just scared the bejesus out of my little pupper who's sitting on my foot. No, she's sniffing a bag of dog food. We've got a Der Garrett Cole. He is very good. Luis Severino. He is injured. Brian Anderson. He has COVID. This is cool. Nickname variation. Um, Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo. Ice and Diaz. Uh, rookie card. Does he have COVID? Maybe. Um, should I not be making jokes? Probably. Aristides Aquino. I think he just got called back up from the taxi squad. Pink Foil Fireworks Refractor Highlights Edition. What is his highlights? Long balls in three consecutive innings. That's really fucking cool. Um, pretty sweet. Um, we got a Logan Webb rookie card pink foil. The pink foil really blends in nicely for them. Um, then a Logan Allen rookie card. Cleveland. I could say that for a different Logan Allen, who's also on Cleveland. Um... And this is my last pack of, right now, I have another mega box and some other things. No more Mazzara. Not played this year. Um, kind of disappointed. I really thought he was primed to finally get, have that year everyone thought he would after such a successful debut at such a young age. But he's been hurt and I don't think he's played at all. Um, I've had a very uneven ability to follow baseball this this year. I feel like it's always weird at the start of the season figuring out which games you like to watch, how many fantasy players you got across different teams. Um, and then just, you know, juggling just being stuck in the house and staring at screens all the time. I haven't super been watching as much as I normally do. And I found it hard to just, like, make sure it's on. I don't know. Maybe you're not experiencing that. Josh Donaldson, on, off to a great year. Freddie Freeman, healthy and mashing. That dude does nothing but mash taters. And if you mash taters into a patty and fry it up, that's what took pretty good. That's called a hash brown. And it's delicious. Uh, Marcus Simeon. Hey, Logan Allen. This is the photo variation. Pretty bad. Pretty badass. Hey. No, I'm kidding. It's Pete Alonzo. It's right there on the card. This is a pink foil fireworks refractor now playing, which is sweet. And now we have a pink foil Trevor Story, which is also awesome. And a Danny Mendick, who is in everything. Um, I managed not to erroneously accidentally delete this video or stop it, so uh, this one's going to go to press pretty soon. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, I'm shocked because like five people watch it and all five people either blow smoke up my... Or, I mean, I don't know why they would subject themselves to watching the videos because I could stop at any point. If you don't like them, just tell me to stop. I will. I got other things to do. Like, I could hang out with that cat. See? She's a nice little cat. She's very sweet. Her name is Little Cat. All right, bye.